Hey everybody, welcome back to the channel. Today we are going to go through a tour about the Formula One car available from FG, specifically the Sportsline model. There's not a lot of videos kind of showing what's in the box. This is the FG Formula One Sportsline car as it comes out of the box. Sometimes they'll come in a box where the front spoiler has been removed. Uh, other times the spoiler is installed. You have a clear polycarbonate body. It's a multi-piece body. These little side pods in the back. The front nose cone is always in these little bags. They do that so that they don't get banged up. The bodies themselves, they do not have any kind of overspray film protectant. So keep that in mind when you're painting your body. Uh, there are no decal sheets, so that leaves a lot of options for your own customization and your own imagination. The body itself, there's a couple of holes here that provide access to the carburetor as well as a little clearance for the fuel tank, but this hole needs to be opened up a bit more. That way you're able to access your pull start. As it is, with the body the way that it is now, it's pushing a little bit, it's tweaking the body. Let's take the body off and see what's underneath. The body's held in place with four easy to remove large body clips. The body itself is reminiscent of older generations of Formula One cars, uh, pre-Halo era. So some things that you would probably want to consider doing would be opening up this hole here, which feeds the air filter, and then again, enlarging this hole here just to give a little more clearance for your pull start assembly. So this chassis comes assembled, largely ready to use. There's a few things that are required to complete. Uh, one of them is a receiver battery. The receiver battery lives on this little battery tray holder that slides out. So this will fit common five cell nickel metal flat battery packs. It will also fit batteries like our 7,000 milliamp lithium polymer battery. You put the battery in there and you can either use some strapping tape or zip ties to, to hold it tight on this tray. All of the Sportline ready to run models include a 26 cc engine. We specifically have Zenoa engines included with our Formula One car. This is the Zenoa G270, which is a four bolt 26 cc Zenoa engine. These are excellent engines. If you've been in fifth scale at all for a while, you've heard the name Zenoa, you know that that name means reputation and quality. Uh, they have the engine laid down super low so that it will fit underneath the body as well as keep your center of gravity low. You can see you've got this huge chassis, this is a machined aluminum chassis that's five millimeters thick. Uh, it does have a slight kick up in the front right about here. Other features and things that are included with the Sportline ready to run model. Uh, it includes a FG branded radio set. It has a large scale servo for the steering and then a standard size servo for the throttle brake. Also included is the FG RS3 transmitter. This is a, a Fly Sky, rebranded Fly Sky radio, three channels. It, it's good, we'll go over that. It has a tuned uh, silencer muffler. So they don't call this a tuned pipe, but they do call it a silencer. Uh, these are really nice actually. They do provide pretty decent power and they make it so that it's not overly loud the way that tuned pipes are. But I understand that everybody loves a little bit of noise in their life. So I'm not shocked when people change out uh, the exhaust for a little more power and a little more noise. Threaded aluminum shock bodies are on the front and the back. They are realistic and scale with operating on a cantilever. So it's got a push rod with the cantilever and it's pretty cool. So this functions the way that a full scale Formula One cantilevered suspension works, which is super cool. On the ends here, these have plastic adjustable wishbone arms, as well as turnbuckles for the cantilevers steering links. In the back, one of the big differences between the Sportline model and the competition model is the Sportline model is a belt driven system. On the competition model, it has a gear drive system. And so that's one of the things that is different. So it has a belt that drives here and it has an adjustable tensioner right here. So you can adjust the belt tension 
as your belt wears. And then there's a belt that drives the differential to the back. Uh, it's an open style diff. It features full ball bearings throughout the car. And it also has this polycarbonate rear wing that's made of really thick plastic. Generally speaking, the 26cc engine, those are not very thirsty engines, or they're pretty fuel efficient. A lot of these large scale cars, you'll see 30 to 40 minute run times on a single tank of fuel. Again, this has the Zenoa G270 engine, and with that G270 engine, the Walboro WT990 carburetor is included. That's a carburetor that does not feature a choke. Choking this out shouldn't be too bad. It's just as simple as covering the air filter with your hand while you pull on the starter. So let's check out the radio set. So as I mentioned before, FG uses a rebranded Fly Sky three channel radio. They do spring for a slightly nicer model. It does have a digital display on the top. It's got a pretty nice rubber wheel. Uh, overall, the steering feel is not bad. You know, I personally still prefer my Futaba radios when I'm controlling my large scale models, but I know that the Fly Sky models have worked out pretty well. These are using a FG branded throttle brake servo. With these throttle servos and uh, and the steering servo, these are now compatible with lithium batteries. So in that is one improvement that comes with using this radio gear is that you are capable of using a LiPo battery. Old FG cars, uh, like my original Sportline model that came with a rebranded Airtronics Sanwa radio, those were not lithium compatible. These now are. Uh, all of the FG Sportline models now use this radio set and they are LiPo compatible. You have an instruction manual that comes with this. All right, so the only other things that are included, a spark plug wrench, as well as this operating manual this is all you get uh, it admittedly does not have a lot of details here a photocopied manual it is multi-language again basic operating instructions things about operating your engine so the first bit of the manual is all about the engine and general operation. Honestly, not a ton of information there. At the end, you have your exploded diagrams here, which will give you the part numbers. There's parts listings. So this is the description and the part number, and then general warnings in a variety of languages. So FG is a car for modelers. Uh, they don't give you a ton of information and a ton of details, which is why videos like this exist because they are helpful because there's not a lot of information out there. Let's go over some of the cool details of the Formula One car that kind of help set it apart. So as I mentioned before, this has a, a single throttle brake servo. But what's very cool is that it has front and rear brakes that are operated. So there's a rear disc brake that operates here on the lay shaft. And so that controls the braking performance of the rear. On the front, you have this, this rod here that gets pulled and it pulls these two cables similar to like a bicycle cable and then that operates these little Bowden cables up here and there are individual calipers on the front wheels. So there's a caliper here and a caliper here and you can dial in the tension and the travel and rate of how hard it grabs up here. So let's take a peek at those front calipers. So FG includes PMT pre-mounted tires. These are a rib tire. Uh, they're fairly, they're a fairly hard compound, but they will scrub in a bit. FG has used different suppliers of tires across all of their cars. Sometimes they're PMT, sometimes they're GRP. They can have different wheels. They could use a different tread pattern. It's honestly a bit of a grab bag. It has to do with availability from different suppliers. So the front caliper of the disc brake, it's really cool to see how it operates. You've got your floating disc. You've got these brake pads here that have a, a brake pad material. And then this lever that operates is pulled from this uh, cable, this Bowden flex cable. So as the brake operates here, it pulls on the cable, pulls this lever, and that's what stops the rotor from spinning. Uh, it's a realistic scale knuckle and hub assembly there. There. So again, similar to what you see on a full size model, but these are just really neat cars to look at. So coming around to the back, so you can see these are staggered offset, staggered width, 
There's a front and rear specific size. So the back is just as interesting as the front. You've got these multi-link rear suspension with wishbones. You've got adjustable toe. So you have so much range of adjustment that you can make. But these rear hubs, you can see they're square drive. Uh, these are a universal style drive. So they're really smooth really efficient drivetrain. One of the differences from the Sportline model to the competition model is the use of composite plastics, whereas on the competition model, there's a lot more machined aluminum. Overall, I think that the FG Formula One car is great. Its scale appearance is so appealing to many people. How realistic this drives and the adjustments that can be made just like the full-size car. They look incredible. The driving dynamics of them, are realistic. They do drive well on a really smooth surface. There's no denying that FG puts out really nice cars. They always have looked good. They have been in the game for large scale cars for more than two decades. And we're really happy that we get to offer these models here at DDM. So let us know if you guys have any questions. Thanks for watching.